Hello from Pepto Farm. Still we are not in hill. We are our urban garden and uh, we have done the beds pretty much. Only one is missing there. We don't have more compost. And I was <coughs> picking also that little pond. But um, I was planning to make a little deeper, but there is a, I think it's limestone. But it's enough. Now I just need to order the pond liner and uh, it's coming getting over we was also cleaning the edge there just the metal need to bring away and, and uh, we have fill up here some that land what thick in the pond there we gonna put herbs We have now planted this five pets. <clears throat> I have seen uh, big differences of this. We go this side, that sun is not behind me. You can see better. Uh, Actually, this all these seedlings has put same time, sowing same time, but has put a different time here. So the so there is a big difference of what stage they are. But <clears throat> I have found and learning also while observe this uh, this uh, part of here, this bed and this bed has plant at the same time and as you can see the depends the location sun expose uh, how big this I think this is a daily about maybe 60 percent per per day it's uh, in sun and uh, this is only something 40 percent and this is maybe 30 percent and not full sun so it's uh, so can see clearly that it's much bigger grow in this bed but on other hand <coughs> if you compare this what is in shadow and that is quite pretty much full shadow and then comparing same time put it little seedlings what is almost always in sun so it's not feeling so well this and growing slowly so since the pakso is uh, quite sensitive for the sun it need to be right right amount kind of daily sun then it's growing better I think in later grow is not so much matter, but uh, uh, we don't have now. But if I have a shadowing uh, fleece or something like that, then I put this that it uh, can less the sun expose. We have water at basically same, same all this bed, so it's no it's no water issue. But very clear, you can see that so, so much. Even this bed where is a little more sun, that part, like now, compare this part, bigger, bigger seedlings there. I have seen here some damage for the box, like there is a little holes, but not too much, I, I think. All the plants can handle it and when, when it's growing bigger then it's of course doing better. 
and after all it's not going waste I am glad to eat even there is uh, some holes in the actually not very much here quite clean and there is some someone has eaten little but I'm happy happy now that uh, we haven't used any anything not even organic spray here just let it grow and see, seems that this composted goat manure is quite great to grow grow things and I think uh, this fast growing crop I think Boxo is only 35 40 days of course some of those we harvest by leaves so it's more more longer but uh, I think can put this stupid next patch also just straight not doing anything just uh, put new crops when this is done we have putting here also some hope it survive this is a mustard Misuna there is only 10 plants it's germinate wasn't so good it's little old seed but uh, of course we want to use and then uh, this has a two lines and when the next batch of the seedlings is coming we put this hole then here is coming spring onion this side and this side then middle is coming tomato then onion and one onion so four four rows onions and two rows of the oriental salad and the main crop here in middle is tomato I was waiting tomato coming this week but it was yesterday when they have sipped so hope hope next week uh, we make a two pets maybe 10 10 to 12 plants tomato is I think we put here here also when it's it takes long long before we can put here but and uh, then at least that little pet we put cherry tomatoes yeah so I'm quite satisfied how it's starting this and now it's just uh, making more soy blocks uh, sowing the seeds and when it's ready then planting we are a little late but if you don't have a seeds you can do it so I have to wait until uh, I have a make a little plants and we have now in first something 30 different plants uh, this bed is maybe 10 to 15 different and then there in walls we put all the vining plants and that is a lot of that room. there is a kids always so noisy yeah and uh, we put a lot of uh, medical herbs also there in walls that uh, it's kind of between always there like here is coming cucumber so there in bit between can we can use that space also also for the plants and we will see how how many <laughs> really we can put but it's quite much number of of different kind of plants and but this is of course main thing this because those vining plants is some uh, nothing coming maybe four months some is even ten months before it's giving harvest so that is slowly but this this start to rolling when we have uh, all the beds full full and here coming okra eggplants and so on 
normal Filipino vegetables what people love to eat and what we love to eat. Especially I wait wait onion and and later we have to put also garlic. I think most of the garlic we put there in wall. There is a and ginger and turmeric also also there. Yeah. We put bigger uh, narrow but uh, quite big mulch compost there in wall. And uh, I think it's it's good like that. We get some bamboo already. It's the little bad place I have to remove there in their side. And tomorrow we get ten more. But still same issue and uh, as a plants uh, I don't have a tools yet I have order. So when I get more tools I can start to make. We use that bamboo for everything, almost everything. We make a trellis there in beside the fence and uh, we make a garden beds there inside. I make a furniture, bed, cabin, dining table, everything I, I try to make. So that is also quite much learning, learning to make and but it's easy material to do and, and very cheap. So and I, I like to use bamboo. Here we have a some cubics. There is some little growth but not much yet. And here is a two trays. Here is already I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> I don't remember. Here is a lemon basil and lemon palm. Also here. You can see it. Can be also that it's old seeds. And that it's not good. But then we just put food in these soil blocks that you can use several times if there is nothing germination. So that is our progress now in, in this urban garden and seems that there is some <laughs> weeds weeds coming but it's good that it's can come now and then we clean before before planting the seedlings and I need to also buy welding machine and other other tools that I can make a garden tools <laughs> Here is no available. Maybe can order, but rather I do my own uh, wire weeder and others. Some kind of hope. I haven't made a decision yet how I do with these pathways, but I have to start to thinking that maybe maybe I make a hole and clean it, clean it always. That that it's a. Uh, no need to cut. On other hand, if there is a if there is a greens, some kind of lawn, then when it's very uh, wet, when raining more, then it's uh, better. But uh, easily it's get muddy, muddy this between. But uh, I have to talk with boss lady how we do, but. If we leave it in living pathway kind of green, then I have to buy some kind of trimmer. Trimmer that uh, once a week trimming that away. Yeah. But yes, that is the update now. Thank you for watching and giving thumb like and and uh, please subscribe also that next videos you can see bye bye